Where will languages take you? Studying a foreign language is an exciting opportunity to learn to communicate with people from other cultures. Through learning a language, you will develop your curiosity and deepen your understanding of the world. We offer French and Spanish at Cows because not only are these countries two of our closest neighbours, but also because they are two of the top three languages identified as most vital to the UK over the next 20 years. By learning a language, you will develop an understanding of different cultures as well as tolerance and acceptance of these backgrounds and beliefs. Learning a language will also provide a valuable educational, social and cultural experience. You will develop literacy skills that lay the foundation for future learning and linguistic competence to extend your knowledge of how language works. It also provides an opportunity for cross-curricular links and for reinforcement of knowledge, skills and understanding developed in other subjects. So, why study languages at GCSE? We offer all students the opportunity to study French or Spanish at GCSE because languages are really important in the world we live in and they give you great skills for the rest of your life. By taking a language at GCSE, you'll have amazing skills and a valuable talent that's applicable to almost everything you do. A language GCSE builds on what you've already learnt in years seven, eight and nine and you probably know more than you think. Language classes at GCSE are still fun and interactive and you cover things at a slightly quicker pace, but that's good because you'll easily notice the improvements that you make. Plus, by taking a language GCSE, you don't just learn the language, you get to find out about other people, countries and cultures. So it really is an interesting and varied subject. Plus, you even have the chance to take part in one of our exchange trips with our partner schools in France and Spain. What will you learn about? We cover a massive range of topics in GCSE languages. So as well as learning about the grammar, you will also learn about the culture and the lifestyle. We study topics like school life, food, travel, sports, famous people, traditions and customs. The list goes on. All of the topics we study relate to one of the three main themes, identity and culture, local, national, international and global areas of interest and current and future study and employment. Your classes will focus on improving your speaking, listening, reading and writing skills. You might make posters about your favourite foreign celebrities and then practice what you would say if you ever met them. By learning how to give directions, you can point someone in the right direction or get yourself back on track if you ever get lost. Outside of the lesson, there are great interactive games, apps and podcasts to help you learn your language when at home or out and about. You will really widen your knowledge and understanding of the world and everyone's place within it, and you'll be learning to communicate with others in the process. So what skills will you develop? Listening is a skill that you use and improve every day without even realising. Your teacher may talk in the foreign language, and so by actively listening in class, you're developing this skill. You can also watch TV shows in the target language, listen to podcasts or news bulletins, or even French or Spanish music. Every time you speak in your language class, you're improving your oracy, fluency and confidence. The speaking assessment is great preparation for later in life when you're bound to be involved in speaking out loud to loads of people in all sorts of situations. At school, giving a class presentation, at work, chairing a meeting or giving a speech in front of an audience. Reading is really beneficial to your language learning. It teaches you the skill to recognise unfamiliar words, guess the meanings of words from the surrounding text and learn where accents and punctuation go. You develop skills like looking for cognates as well as working out meaning from context. Finally, you will also develop your writing skills by responding to questions and learning how to add detail to make your answers more varied. You will practice writing sentences to describe a photo, writing a short paragraph, giving opinions about different topics, all building up to writing a longer text using a range of language, including past, present and future tenses. So how will you be assessed? For languages, you will sit an exam in each of the four key areas, listening, speaking, reading and writing. Each exam counts for 25% of your final grade, so you have a chance to show your capability across all four skills. The reading and listening exams are short and the best bit is that some answers are only one word or multiple choice. The speaking assessments really aren't that scary. You just have to talk. Your teacher will conduct the exam with you and you'll have lots of opportunity to practice in class. 
The written assessment is just like any other GCSE subject. You write down what you've learned over the past few years. Listening, speaking, reading and writing are all important skills to have when you apply for sixth form, university and future jobs or apprenticeships. So from all the MFL teachers at COWS, we look forward to supporting you on your GCSE journey in languages.